Hello everybody, I'm Ulrich with Fix It Auto and today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be painting my interior trim on my Supernatural Impala Tribute. Now this is probably the only panel that I need to repair. As you can see I have a crack here. I also have scratches up here and this is all going to have to be repaired before I paint it. So before I paint this, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be fixing it. And it just requires some 320 grit sandpaper. I'm going to be using this JB Weld plastic bonder. After it's all bonded and sanded, I'm going to be using this uh, plastic adhesion promoter in order to help adhere the paint that I'm going to be using. And that's all that we're really going to need. So let's get to it. So the first step I'm, I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using this rag that's soaked with soapy water. And I'm going to give this a nice cleaning making sure to take off all the dirt and grime and all the wax that may be on top. Then with a dry microfiber, I'm just going to dry it off. Now that it is dry, as you can see here, the plastic does bend and I'm not going to want it to do that as I'm applying the plastic bonder. So I'm going to be using some tape in order for it to maintain its shape. After it's been taped, I'm just going to be careful to turn it onto the other side without it losing its shape. Now here's where we use the plastic bonder. You do have to prepare it a little bit, so all you have to do is just squeeze out, and it does come in two different liquids, and you just have to mix it before you apply it. So with a plastic putty knife, I'm just gonna give this a nice mix, and then just apply it generously to the back. After it's been applied, the recommended time is just to leave it alone for 30 minutes, but I'm gonna give it a full 24 hours, so we'll wait until then. It's been 24 hours, and I took off the masking tape and as you can see here now this has just dried and it is hard as plastic so then this side is good to go so I'm just gonna turn it around so I'm gonna grab some 320 grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna go along this entire trim piece making sure that the entire surface is smooth and for anyone out there that's doing this themselves I would recommend that you take as much time as needed in order to make sure that the final product comes out smooth you want to make sure that there's no sharp edges that poke up and you want to make sure that the surface of the trim has a good grippable surface in order for the paint to grab onto. And now that the surface is ready, I'm just going to spray down this rag with soapy water and I'm going to make sure that I clean up this surface really well. After letting the trim dry, I'm just going to apply this plastic adhesion promoter in order to give the paint a good surface to grip onto. Now for those trying this at home, now that we're spraying, I do have some shop fans going so I do recommend that you have either those or a well ventilated area because this does cause migraines if you inhale it for too long. And always wear a mask whenever you're using rattle can spray. Be sure to take all necessary precautions. Now I'm going to be spraying this down with three light coats with three minute rest in between before applying paint. After applying the second to third coat, you want to make sure that you apply paint within 10 minutes of that last spray. Now this is my third coat that I am spraying onto this trim piece and now I'm going to move on to spraying the actual paint. And same thing, I'm going to be doing some very light coats. The common thing to do is people put it on too thick because they want to see results right away, but that just doesn't work that way. The goal here is just to be patient and to make sure that you apply as many coats as needed but waiting 5-10 to 10 minutes after you spray. It's also good to grab it and turn it onto the other side so that way you can get spots that you couldn't reach before. And I'm going to make sure to do this early on so I'm just going to spray it once, turn it and then spray it and then repeat the process until I get the results that I want. Now after patience and time, this is what the final product is going to look like. This is just the top side so I just got to turn it over and make sure to grab these edges that I missed and the bottom part. So I'm just going to spray the plastic adhesion promoter with a few light coats. After a few light coats, I'm just going to apply the paint just like how I did in the front. Now that the trim is all painted, I'm going to be using this low luster clear coat. I'm just going to be using two light coats of this in order to protect the paint. I'm just going to apply this to all the plastic trim pieces inside of the car. I'll be making a separate video on all the vinyls inside of the car. I'm just waiting for all the supplies to come in in order for me to do vinyl. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, then please give it a like and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching.